Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this fragile handle with care fluorescent fixture. No, that's just what it says on the box, but that's not what's inside, obviously. This is a fluorescent fixture though, and I did pick it up recently at the ReStore, brand new for $12. I think it was a little less than that. I think that tag was on sale or something. But the only sticker on the box is this one. So it's made by American Fluorescent. It is SCA, whatever that could stand for, single lamp, 15 watt rapid start and then CO, maybe chrome and something else. Uh, that might be the date code there on the top, not too sure, but uh, it's a pretty old label. So we'll go ahead and set the box aside because that's all there is on it. And we'll take a look at the fixture itself. Here it is. It was all wrapped up in the blue film that comes on many appliances nowadays. And it is incredibly heavy because it is rapid start and the ballast takes up quite a bit of the fixture inside. So we have our standard fluorescent sockets here. This can take either a F15T8 or T12 fluorescent bulb. I use a T12 bulb in it. I think it's more appropriate for the style of fixture. Taking the blue film off left a very interesting um, design behind, but that's totally fine with me. It looks nice. I put a hole here at the end, just big enough to fit a grounded cord through because we have a grounded outlet on the other end. It did have a sticker that said like nine amps or something, but it was falling off, so I'll let it fall off all the way. And here we have a rotary switch to turn the light on and off. There you can see the manufacturer of the socket, at least for this socket, because if you turn it around, we have a different one here, and that's just how it came. Interesting. We do have a starter socket though, if you do wish, well not a starter socket, but a cutout for one, if you do wish to make it preheat. There are the holes to add a preheat ballast. I left the blue film in the uh, starter socket. I thought it looked kind of neat. And of course there's nothing on the back because this is supposed to be mounted in your bathroom for a vanity light. There is also options in the instructions for adding a cover on the bulb. I do believe I have these instructions somewhere here, but they are not in the best of shape. So here we have the instructions that it came with. You can see the, the model there at the top. Talk about disconnecting the power. And it shows the two different kinds of covers that it would come with. Now I couldn't find the cover at the restore but that is perfectly fine the fixture operates okay without it so we'll put that aside to open this thing up we just need to remove these two little nicely covered nuts here there we go we have the other one as well these are not the kind where they shape it around an actual nut they're the kind that they you know, push it in and it kind of works. Not the best quality, but whatever. And the back would come off because it would be attached to the wall. And everything else is inside the channel of the fixture here. So we have our thick wiring because we do have a nice socket here on the end. Let's turn this around. You can see it's a Radionic Industries, Chicago, Illinois. You have some type of date code there on the ballast. It's for a 15 or 20 watt lamp. Very nice, it is incredibly silent. And we have all of our extra wiring here on the other end for our switch and our grounded outlet. So I'll put this back together here, grab a bulb and let's try it out. So here we are all set up. I decided to add a nice little night light here on the end because that's what I have seen in some bathrooms before. They'll add a night light and unplug it whenever they need to use the outlet. So here we have a generic GE uh, warm white tube that I picked up at Walmart. I think they were on clearance for like 50 cents or something. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Of course, rapid start, so no preheat action here. You turn the night light on. Not very bright. Let's go ahead and turn off the video lights. There you go. 
turn that off. There's the night light. The night light it, uh, dims out because it's LED. It's got an LED bulb in there. Yeah, so rapid start. Nothing too amazing there for interesting action, that is. Of course, I don't have much to light up, but we will hold it up behind the camera here, and you can see how well it lights up the area. It does a pretty good job. Set this back down. And we'll do it a couple more times. It's just rapid start, but it does a pretty good job. It's a very slight hum you can hear from the ballast. Yeah, rapid start. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of the American Fluorescent SCA single amp 15 watt rapid start well bathroom fluorescent fixture once again i hope you enjoyed and also please comment rate share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching